ASMR, that is a blunder. There's no blunder dome right now, because we're not fighting today. As I will be over in trenches for some CEDH tonight, so I'm taking, I need my brain power for CEDH. I can't kind of save it up for later. <laughs> I guess I should probably put my headphones on, huh? Seeing as this is my where I chat through here now. How is everybody doing? Oh my god, I moved everything so that everything is in different spots now, so I gotta untangle things. Ugh, such a mess. There's so much sorting to do, so it's like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna be sitting here for like an hour. I guess I'll sit here and chat about magic and look at cards as we sit here and enter them into my wonderful mox field, which is has all my trades and stuff in it. How is everybody doing? Bloomboro previews, crazy, loving it, very excited about it. <laughs> I thought this box was all D and D stuff from the original set, so I was like, ooh, I need dice stuff. And then it was not a good portion of it was just mystery cards. So I was like, damn damn. This is not what I was looking for. <laughs> I need dice cards for Mr. House, goddammit. Hopefully my lighting is better now. I moved everything around. I'm probably going to have to move it around for later tonight. Anyway, what are we doing? We're entering cards to my trade binders. Let me... Ugh, I moved a lot of stuff in my way. Ash nods. You go over here. I'm going to find a better place for all this stuff. <laughs> I'm moving my office upstairs, so this is just all temporary for now. I finally don't need to be downstairs, so I can actually move back to my old room. So that's nice. Oh, I guess I should... What's, what's add cards? That's probably a good idea. Ah, War of the Spark and your 36 Planeswalkers. They're like, here's a whole bunch of Planeswalkers. We're gonna take Planeswalkers away. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part, which is, it's not my favorite part, it's my favorite part that is just stupid, is that we finally got freaking, they were like, hey, Oathbreaker's in official format, and they're like, oh, we're gonna take all, you're only gonna get one to two Planeswalkers in a set now. So silly. Oh, saves the day. post. <laughs> this was impromptu, so it's like, yeah, whatever. Oh, Varaska, scheming emissions. She does make assassins, which is pretty great. Oh, you know what? She would be fun in my assassin deck. Maybe I'll make a gruel assassin deck. Just because I want to put freaking Varaska in it. I hate that her colors, they don't go with what I need it to be. Change her to the colors I want, goddammit. Was that before? Okay, Exelon was before War of the Spark. I don't know why I was thinking differently. Huh. Yeah, these. Man, I do. This is a like fantastic. I, I miss so many of these bands. Oh my god. So many good bands out there that I remember. I'm getting all these feels from back when I was a kid. CDs that I just always add on I listen to I'm the most uninteresting magic streamer that you will find <laughs> I try to be real with you I, I'm a human being I have other hobbies I do other things I like stuff I can talk about anything <laughs> I have too many hobbies not another Donovan how did I oh, blast it I wasn't paying attention would have just added both of them at the same time, damn it. Oh, Narset part of Veils. I don't have her in my Narset deck just because I feel like a freaking asshole every time I play Narset part of Veils. <laughs> now, if I'm playing with people who want us all to be assholes, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Parker of Veils, you're in. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Let's be a dick. I'm in. It's so gross. Like, each opponent can't draw a card. More than one card. <laughs> uh, 
She's gone down. She's 69 cents. Uh, do I put her in my 69 deck? It shouldn't. The deck is awful. Okay, she's going in it just because it's silly. <laughs> the deck is so bad, I guess I do need some staxy pieces to protect myself. <laughs> Sanctum of All. It's a five color. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may search your library. Oh, this is the Shrine Commander. Oh, I forgot. I specifically think I bought this so I could build the Shrine deck. <laughs> Uh, apparently I have two of them. That's, that's freaking awesome. I, I, I drive myself insane. After I get all these entered, I need somebody to come and sort them all out for me, please. Uh, was this Teferi's wife? Did you believe? I think so. She cares about legends, which is... I want to do like a legend deck, but I don't want it to be Joda. And I don't want to make it oppressive and stupid to play against. Like, I don't... Sometimes I don't want to just be the bad guy. I want to actually play my deck and play the game. <laughs> I have four of this guy. Goddamn tree guy. I don't need four of you. Why do I have so many of you? There's Joda. God damn it, Joda. <laughs> I was just talking shit about you. You weren't listening, were you? He has a terrible haircut. His uh, new guard, I do not like the way he looks. <laughs> he just makes me unhappy looking. Uh, 93. I don't know. I just like, He's just like chit chatting with everybody. He's like, hey. Uh, panic at the disco. It's one of those weird bands that I, I don't like the people or the one guy, <laughs> but I enjoy the music. Hey, it's Tasha. I think I have a couple of Tashas. <laughs> I bought a lot of uh, Baldur's Gate. Nobody was buying it. It was like $70 a box because nobody wanted it. Which was just stupid. I don't know what the hell people were thinking. I apologize if you were one of those people, but like, what were you thinking? <laughs> I have three Tashas. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> I should just sell my magic collection. I'll keep all my decks. I don't know. I've thought about it a couple of times. Just like. I have all these cards. Oh, the Ghost Council is 69 cents. I make, My 69 deck is all. It's all five colors. Oh, Saskia! Where should I put you? I forgot that's the good one. The cool one. Oops, I'm spelling your name wrong. She reminds me of Eeyore. Secret layer drop. Oh, is that the last time she was printed? She's so cool. Do I really have two of these? This doesn't seem right. Now I'm now I'm questioning things. I think I might have actually gone through this stuff already. We're about to see. I'm gonna be really pissed off at myself. Yep. Okay. You're fired me. Which makes me wonder if this whole entire stack is stuff I've already gone through. Oh my god, I missed everything up. Everything is awful. I was like, I definitely don't have two set of skills. There's, that's not a thing. Okay, so that's why we have so many Tashas, because we don't have that many Tashas. <laughs> okay, so I guess I gotta grab a different stack of cards and figure out what the fuck I was doing. Awesome me. Watch me F everything up, guys. Woo. I'm so good at messing stuff up. Well, at least I don't have as many of this tree guy as I thought I did. <laughs> That's, that makes me feel a little better. That also means why I have two sanctums, because I shouldn't have two sanctums. <laughs> well, we, so much for entering stuff into... I guess I gotta get a different binder. <laughs> oh, I make myself so bad. And it also answers why I have three of you. I only have two of you. Pick your poison, I do have. I know that. <laughs> okay, so I guess God damn it, me. 
very disappointed in myself right now. Hang out with my octopus for a second. Oh my gosh, this stuff can go over here. Well, let's just go. Let's go into a box I know I haven't actually finished. That makes my life a little bit easier. Yeah, I'll just grab a stack in here. I don't know what's in here, but. Look at it and make sure it's not a stack that we've already gone through. <laughs> I don't think so. But now part of me is like, maybe. <laughs> Too many times. Okay. So as you guys, I don't actually need to go through. Awesome. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here, though. Oh, yeah, I remember going through this. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out where the... Oh, I stopped there then. <laughs> Good job, me fucking stuff up. It's gonna actually go inside this binder. Okay, let's do this stack instead. <laughs> uh, Lord, this is why I don't get anything done. Always some kind of issue of some sort. Elgath. Oh, another Elgath. Part of me is like, do I have too many elements? Is this, am I fucking stuff up again? Maybe? You know, all the disconcerting. Uh, I'm sure it's just the Eldrin one. Okay, good. We haven't gone through this box. <laughs> We ran into a, something I hadn't added, so. Archmade Emeritus, always causing me problems. Maybe let's strict save on version 37. Yep. And now we have a couple of them. Is he actually worth money now? What is happening? Archmage Emeritus is worth money? I'm so confused. What's happening? This card was worth like nothing for the longest time, so. Success! <laughs> We <laughs> waited it out. Grislax? Grislax is awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna do some fun things with them. Um, I think they're in my horror deck. That's a lot of thinkies. It's an Oathbreaker deck, though, so at least there's less cards that I have to remember and do things I need to do. <laughs> a giant Leviathan crab and your 17 defense. <laughs> the funny thing is, if you can make it... Yeah, you can definitely make it a 17-17 very easily. What's going on? I'm just sitting over here. I'm trying to get a little bit of my collection entered in daily just so I can finally finish it. <laughs> hey, Cher, what's going on? How is the dinosaur thing? Yeah, the cool dinosaur thing. I imagine you're having a lot more fun with me not being there. <laughs> I ruin everything by being around. <laughs> ah, another Tarland. Ah, God, it's a list version. Kind of hate Tarland so much. Uh, I wonder how many copies of Tarland I have. Probably a lot. But... Yeah, why is he on the list? Nobody needs any more copies, wizards. Zero. They just want to make it a thing. They're just like, we'll just keep throwing it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I try, like, I try to do a little bit of painting every day. I try to do a little bit of my entering in my collection and f finishing up decks as I'm doing it. 
I'm like, ah, I gotta get this done. Because <laughs> if I don't just sit down and do it, yeah, I have to force myself. I'm like, okay, this is happening, whether you want to or not. <laughs> Take an hour. And I'm like, eh, I'm streaming. Might as well. <laughs> The list really is the worst. Like, they should actually put things that need to be reprinted on there. Like, stuff that we want. And every once in a while you see a cool card that you're like, oh, this is neat. This is something I forgot about. Or something that needed to be reprinted. Like, I think the freaking Great Henge was on there for a little while. And it's kind of cool to get <laughs> Gadwick, you're 69 cents, you're in my 69 deck. Welcome. <laughs> uh, my 69 deck is going to be a pain in the butt to keep up with. Everything shall be 69 cents and it shall be magnificent. <laughs> did I spell swimmer wrong? What did I spell wrong here? Oh, I put the swimmer in the nightmares. That's not the name of the card. This is actually a kind of cool card. I mean, it gets plus three, plus three. It's a three mana. Most of the time, it's going to be a four, four. And it can't be blocked as long as you have an Ashok, Ashiok Planeswalker. I like the ones where you can be just anything or any Ashiok. It doesn't have to be a specific Ashiok. I know there's more of them in here somewhere in the stack. There's got to be at least two more of them, because I don't understand the Planeswalker. These were only in the Planeswalker decks, but then they only gave you three of them. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I put them in, like, my uh, Oathbreaker decks, because all my Oathbreaker decks have all the versions of the uh, Planeswalker that's in there, as long as the colors match up. Oh, Braylon. Every once in a while, I run into pretty cool cards. Did you get an Ancient Tomb? What did I get that was really cool? I guess something that I was like, huh, a Meat Hook Massacre, I think I got. I was like, oh, sweet. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, opening packs. Uh, when you get something cool out of a pack, it does feel pretty good. <laughs> uh, some cards I have in here, like Reverse Engineer is just a good card. Like. I set things aside in my rear binder sometimes that I'm what summer. Oh my god. Foil. Uh, I opened my Shopify store again. I gotta actually put stuff in at this time. Every time I reopen it, I forget to actually do anything with it. <laughs> and then I'm like, well, because I paid this dollar for no reason. My bad. <laughs> I figured that's probably the easiest way to sell things that I need to get rid of. I put them on Twitter and it doesn't work, so. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how everybody sells all their stuff on Twitter. Sometimes I do. <laughs> oh my god, Archmage Emeritus, I have so many copies of you, and now you're actually worth like 350 which is pretty cool. I'm gonna sell all these Archmage Emeritus's and be rich. I'm going to buy dual lands with my Archmage Emeritus money. <laughs> uh, 48. I was going to say, Gatwick, you were only... You were... Remove soul. <laughs> There's a counter spell. I mean, this counter spell for two mana is going to kill something. <laughs> Somebody's going to cast a spell, right? And for two mana and one colorless, I mean, it's actually almost probably better than Counterspell in Commander. I mean, you're gonna... Somebody's gonna cast their Commander, at least. <laughs> and not having to have two blue is actually pretty good in a deck that is using multiple colors. I might put that in something. Just so I can see it every once in a while, because that's, that's classic magic art right there. Future Sight was like the first card that was named after a set, or had a set name. <laughs> oh, Doc Hands, I don't know what to do with you. You're silly. I do like tapping people's stuff, and I like Island Walk. 
I like any kind of walk. Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. Why do I keep doing that? I need to actually pay attention to what the next card is so I don't have to do the thing. <laughs> uh, cards. Like, if anybody ever wants to trade, my trade binders are over on my Lobby Pristine page. I want to make a Warhammer section for when uh, Warhammer t Space Marine 2 comes out so people can find other people to play with. Or for come and play with me. I'm very excited about that game. I will be playing some multiplayer. I will be... I really enjoyed the multiplayer in the last one. And the... I like Warhammer and the idea of customizing my stuff because it's not going to be like Fortnite or Call of Duty where my character looks like a fucking jackass and a bunch of different colored, stupid colors that don't go together, outfits, and ugh. I hate what's going on in the world. <laughs> Outfit-wise. Holy crap. A foil essence flux says this is freaking $15. That's insane. I haven't gone through my foils. I... Some of them make it in here because there's things I cast or use. But some foils are worth a lot of money. I mean, Essence Flux is really good. <laughs> it's a nice blink. Our set's Reversal. That's another one that was worth nothing for a while, and then suddenly everybody was like, oh, this is a good card. <laughs> It always takes somebody to cast it or play it somewhere, and then everybody, or usually it's one of the bigger name channels or something, and then they play it, and then everybody's like, oh, this card's really cool. <laughs> it's like, it was already pretty cool. <laughs> you just weren't playing anything different. <laughs> or looking for cool stuff. Uh... Uh, spirits. People better start buying their spirits, because that's definitely a kindred group in Duskborn, so I have already got my complement of spirits ready for spiriting things, and I bought all my rabbits, because <laughs> I was like, yep, I better get my rabbits before... <laughs> uh, they announce or show the commander decks. Always do that before, especially if they're cheap. 69 cents! Whenever an opponent attacks you or planeswalker, you control with one or more creatures, I draw a card. I do like drawing cards. That is 69 cents. Oh, fine. You're in my 69 deck. Enjoy. This deck is gonna be silly. It's gonna make me laugh. If it wins, yeah. I can say, you just got 69. <laughs> oh, Maddening Cacophony, you dick card. I love you so much. It's one of my favorite cards. <laughs> I hate milling people sometimes because I'm like, I feel really bad. But I'm like, you know what? It's a way to win. I just don't like it when I can't get to the win. And then I've already milled all these people and made them miserable. And then I still, I couldn't. <laughs> finish. <laughs> uh, Gale, water deep prophecy. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell from your hand, you may cast up to one uh, target card from of the other type from your graveyard. He is actually really fun, and he can have a background too, which is really cool. Uh, I need to finish freaking Baldur's Gate. I was playing Baldur's Gate constantly, and then I had stuff come up. And then I just never got back to it, which makes me sad. I was really enjoying it. <laughs> Kale, you're 69 cents. Ah! You're all killing me. <laughs> I'm too. I'm a child. I, I think I'm. I just giggle at things that I, I'm like. Ooh, they said wood. <laughs> 69. <laughs> There's a foil gale. Ah, see, he's 79 cents. That would not work for my deck. <laughs> Alora the Merry Thief. Man, I do have some chores I still need to get done. Oh, that didn't sound good. Ay, ay, ay. 
I better go see what just happened. I have a feeling I know what it was, and I'm not looking forward to going around this corner. What did you do? Not cool. Don't come to me. You're the one who just did something. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, guys. What the fuck? No. Fuck you. I have no. No. Fuck you. That was not cool. That's what you get. You get sworn at. Not cool, man. That's exactly what I thought he did. Not cool. Had my tripod over there with my camera attached to it, and I had moved it over. And apparently Banner decided that it did not belong on the table. And then I get over there, and he's like, meow. I'm like... Yeah, you're sitting exactly where that was. And it's on the floor. And then he just looks at it and he looks at me. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> why do I like cats? <laughs> Remind me, please, cat. Oh, yeah, we already have a Mystic Confluence with 69 cents. Apparently, blue is a very 69 color. Stolen Identity is so much fun. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's horrible if you can get it off. People don't get rid of it. And just put it on something you can just walk on by. Ugh, so good times. I have it in my uh, Wilson deck. I like cloning things. That's another thing that makes me happy. Zender splits judgment. I love <laughs> I love judgment cards where people have to make decisions. Well, sometimes it makes you the enemy, and then it's not so great. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oops, my bad. <laughs> Erd on Graceful Adept is pretty cool. No maximum hand size. I think she was in there because she was a wizard that I could use to have no maximum hand size. She's not super great, but yeah, whatever. Dictate of Krufix. And journey, I think. Journey of Nix. Help. Boop. I'm gonna make a giant deck. I had. You're not coming over here, sir. Did you not hear? I was unhappy with you. I love you. I, yeah, I love you. I just don't like it when you do things that make me unhappy. Oh, this was a theme booster guy only. 8-8 eight, eight for 7. It's an additional cast. You can show a giant. Or I have to pay 2 more? Oh my god, it costs 9 mana? Whenever he attacks, I can cast an instant or sorcery from my hand without paying its mana cost, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I do I do like to cast... I just don't mind casting free spells if somebody can see that I'm about to cast a free spell. It's the free spells that I can throw from my hand that give me problems. I mean... Force of Will was definitely the first. <laughs> I can't say anything, I guess, because I did have four Force of Wills in my decks. <laughs> I was like, why does nobody think this card is good? I was like, it's an uncommon. I was like, this is fucking awesome. And then suddenly I came back to during like Mirrodin or something, and then I was like, this is an $80 card? I was like, it's an, a freaking uncommon. I was like, this is insane. Ugh. So weird. Commander definitely changed everything. That's the thing is, there's good cards out there that are cheap, and people just don't pay attention to them, because a pro hasn't played them, or the Command Zone didn't play it. Just like, lots of stuff out there. Just gotta look around. <laughs> I run into all sorts of fun stuff that I'm like, whoa, this would be cool. And it's always cool when you're playing online and streaming and some, you play a card and everybody's like, what is that? 
and then they're like, that's awesome. And then they get it. If a land enters the battlefield and their opponent's control. If that player had another land enter the battlefield under their control, they return a land to their hands. <laughs> that's such a funny confounding conundrum. Oh, Serum Visions. <laughs> I have so many copies of Serum Visions. <laughs> uh, I was playing Mirrodin, like, hardcore during that time period, and playing Standard, and I bought a lot of Mirrodin. So, Mirrodin, Darksteel, and Fifth Dawn, and then Kamigawa, Betrayers, I think? So that was... Oh, this was Fifth Dawn. Okay. I do have a bunch of weird versions of it too. Other copies of it from other sets. Misdirection is fun too. <laughs> you can just, it's a free spell. I don't see that very often. Is this a list version? It's a six dollar card. That's about right. Oh, Brainstorm. Brainstorm's a good card, what? Is that conspiracy? Conspiracy happened. Yeah. Make sure there's no more behind it. I don't know how many times there's some, the same card behind it, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> See, I the only ones I still have, I have the championship decks, and one of my championship decks had four copies of it in it. So I have gold border ones. Which, I don't care if people want to use gold border cards, whatever. They're magic cards. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I can use this for things. I don't put it in very many decks, though. It's only in, like, my CEDH decks. I don't... I don't like free spells for the most part. Like, if I'm playing a certain way, I don't mind using them. Like, a force of will just for... Having a force of will in my deck is just me. Yeah. I try to limit my free spells. And if they're in there, I like to let people know that way. I remember Aether Vial was another one that when I came back, I was like, what the hell happened here? Why are people with all these Aether Vials? <laughs> I I have a replenish that I I think I bought for like thirty bucks because I was like I was like I'm not paying a hundred dollars for a replenish. I thought it was really expensive at the time, and I needed one for a light pause. And I was like, Ugh. what I need to do is actually just sell or trade all these cards <laughs> for things that I actually want or I'm going to play. My problem is I'm always like, ooh, I might need this for something. Ooh, I might need this for something. <laughs> Like, maybe? I might need this for things? Probably not. A merchant scroll! Oh, Fallen Empires. I opened so much Fallen Empires. <laughs> it's such a... And now, some of the cards are actually worth money, and I'm like, oh, okay, success. Or this is a From Homelands merchant scroll. It's my bad. <laughs> oh, Homelands. What is this? Homelands card worth $6? Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? I just like have it. Sometimes it's fun just to go through them, and sometimes you forget about cards, and you're like, oh, this. Is, you're just like, oh, what am I going to do with this? This won't go in any deck, and then suddenly they'll build a new cards and stuff, and you're like, oh, this will go perfect in this deck, or this will work really well with this. Such a weird card, Illusionist Gambit. Cast Illusionist Gambit only during the declare blocker step of an opponent's turn. Remove all attacking creatures from combat and untap them. After this phase, there's an additional combat phase. Each of those creatures attacks this combat available. They can't attack you or a planeswalker you control. <laughs> they could just be like, yeah, you go over there. I like it. I like fun cards that you just don't see very often that it'll... People are like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, let's, just keep it. let's spell out the rest of it so you actually come up properly. Uh, what 
was that in? Was in Commander. Was that 2013? Oh my god. That was forever ago. And dig through time. Parents and gears, ten dollars? I'm finally there. Woohoo! <laughs> I do still have my Baron Singir. <laughs> I got Baron Singir money now. <laughs> Woo! I don't know what they were. Delve is so powerful. I remember looking at, when, at previews when they showed Dig Through Time and I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah, it's eight mana, but it's really good. Like. You get to look at seven cards of your library. It's such a big percentage of your library. And most likely you're casting it for two, so. Again, I did not look and see what the next card was. <laughs> Anipocence. Ah. Free spells. I just posted one of my decks that I was playing on Bruja's Salt Factory. <laughs> It definitely has this in it. It's stupid. That whole entire deck is stupid. I did horrible things to the pod. I was like, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, blasted. We don't have bearing in gear money now. <laughs> Dreams crushed. <laughs> oh, Fae of Wishes. I love cards that let me go search outside the library but most of the time yeah I can't use them for anything so I don't want to go to my sideboard I hate sideboarding I don't know that's one of the reasons why I could never play professionally because I'm sideboards I'm just like Ugh. I don't want to switch things I'm like I just Ugh. <laughs> so stupid <laughs> Yeah, like the cost of a lot of things, like especially since everybody undercuts each other to the point where it just there's so much out there and things are being undercut that like magic finance stuff is all fucked right now. And they keep reprinting things too many times and things that don't need to be reprinted reprinted too many times. I mean, like Black Market just got reprinted, and I think I got four copies of it. It was our black market connections. I'm like, what am I gonna do with black, uh, four copies of black market connections? I mean, I'm gonna put it in every black deck I have, but like, <laughs> I don't need that many copies of it. It's insane, but it's definitely gonna aff affect the prices of things. Like back in the day, I was like, I'd always watch like Magic Finance things. I'm like, ooh, is my stuff worth money? Am I rich now? <laughs> now I'm just like, I just want to play Magic. I don't care, whatever. If things are worth money, cool. I can trade them, get new cards, cool. I do like the old Border Legends. I'm glad they do. I'm glad that they're doing multiple different art styles of things. <laughs> oh, that. I do really like that card. Uh, is it the one of the flares? Uh, I need to get one for. There's a couple things I want to try and light pause, but I don't get to play light pause. <laughs> she's so horrible. Like, it's one of my favorite decks. It's optimized to hell. Like, every time I play it, it just makes everybody miserable, but also makes everybody go, oh, fuck, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> you killed us on the third turn with commander damage. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Like, I have like three or four decks that are optimized to do the things that they're supposed to do. Well, most of the time I put hoops and things and restrictions, so I have to do more thinkies. Did I spell arrow wrong? Where are you? Am I just not seeing you? Oh, because I have... No, not you. 276. Oh, you were in Jumpstart. Oh, okay, you're the jumpstart one. That's why apparently I was just not starting at the top of the list. <laughs> oh, Seafloor Oracle, you're so good for Merfolk. Merfolk got really gross. I like my Merfolk back, but like, it's all explore stuff and like, it just plays so many lands. 
I'm trying to make a version of Omo that, Omo that is easier to play. There's just so many different lands and things going on. It, like, if I didn't have infinite tokens, I could not play Omo. <laughs> There's... Or at least keep track of it, so that's one of the... I try to make it just at least so that the viewers and the people I'm playing can know what I'm doing. So, like, and see what is what. So I'm gonna have to, like, start using, like, infinite tokens to make... These are all locusts. <laughs> These are all... <laughs> Caves, which I was thinking about adding caves to Omo. I don't know. I haven't. I don't know what I'm doing. There's a lot of cool lands that I can manipulate and do things with, but I want to also have all the attack lands in there too. I don't know. I gotta think about things. Gotta see what I can come up with. The temporal anchor. It's a legendary artifact at the beginning of your upkeep. Scry two whenever you put. Whenever you choose to put one or more cards on the bottom of your library worth scrying, exile that many cards from the bottom of your library. During your turn, you may play cards except with temporal. <laughs> so you can just throw things on the bottom and just keep throwing them onto this thing so you can play them. Actually kind of cool. That's kind of neat. You could do something. I should put that in Elminster. <laughs> Instead of just drawing the cards, I'll just throw them all underneath the anchor. If I can make the... The only problem is if somebody destroys the anchor, which then, that kind of sucks. See, there's so many weird cards that I just miss. I'm like, oh, when did this come out? <laughs> That's a thing, I guess. Blue Elemental Blast. I just found a, one of my Black Order German versions of this, and it looks so good with the darker art. This is 43, this is another list card. It's a three dollar card. That's so silly. I mean, it's a one mana counter spell. Most likely, somebody's playing red. <laughs> somebody's getting screwed over. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things is like counter spelling myself if I need to for some reason. I've definitely done it before. <laughs> Sometimes something comes up and you're just like, well, I guess I got to do this. <laughs> I've done it for prowless triggers before, <laughs> just to, to stop something from happening. <laughs> uh, I do need to get all the shrines together, since I did just find the sanctum. I just have not uh, I didn't built that deck yet. Let's see here, eternal masters, wonder. I do like making everything fly. And then the archetype right behind it. Archetypes are so good. Like, they completely just F people's decks up sometimes. <laughs> Not to mention, this one just gives everything flying. Your stuff has flying, but your opponent's stuff doesn't have flying. Those are things I like to see in here. <laughs> I was going to say $2. Sounds about right. Cephalids are no longer creatures. And are you just still sitting down there? He's just patiently awaiting me, apparently. Maybe he's trying to apologize for knocking the camera on the ground. He's so silly. He's such a sweetheart. He's a big goon. He probably didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> I say he probably didn't do it on purpose, but eh, sometimes, sometimes cats are jerks. Sometimes my cats are jerks. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've just been sitting there and they'll do something and then they just sit there and stare at me like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I'm like, nothing. Sorry. Power Stone Prodigy. Uh, <laughs> His card number is 69. Does that count? put that in my 69 deck. I, another Temporal Anger. I don't want another Temporal Anger. Still haven't figured out what I'm doing with the first one. Oh, yeah, that's a full wheel. Mm -hmm. 79 cents. Ooh. Uh, Urza's Command. Where are you? Number 70? Urza is just gross. The fact that he just throws out creatures every turn. Ugh, 
succulent foil. And after I finish this stack, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Should probably get dressed. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I do need to go upstairs and do some stuff. So Ugh. so hot up there right now. I don't really want to go up there. The room that I need to go into only has like a ceiling fan and a normal fan, so there's no air conditioning up there. It gets so hot up there. We don't have central air because we have like a super old house from like 1915 or something like that. They were not thinking of central air at the time. <laughs> Imagine that. I need to find, I'm missing like four or five sleeves that I sleeved something and these uh, secret layer sleeves. Cannot find them anywhere. They're somewhere. And a deck is missing four sleeves. <laughs> so I have one deck I haven't gotten to play because I had to sleeve the whole entire thing. And I was like, where are these sleeves at? This is no good. Oh, who's it? Where's this command? Is also 69 cents. Ugh. I don't know if that'll go well on the deck. Ew, Kenrith. This one from Battle Bond. Which means the sister's somewhere. I usually try to keep the partner cards together even though they're not in the same colors. This Jace I was so excited about when he came out. I was like, oh, I'm gonna make me go mill ten cards off their library. Ha ha ha. I was like, wait a second, I can make people mill twenty or draw twenty cards. And put shield root out and then you draw 20 cards enjoy <laughs> actually that's <laughs> perfect to hit somebody for 40 damage <laughs> uh, oh man now I find kind of want to do that I have to find a demure commander just so I can do that to somebody uh, it's funny once I do the thing to somebody I'm like okay I'm done <laughs> I'll take this deck of parts I got there got there on stream and did something terrible. I'm out. Get Tixium Probe. Two of you. Imagine that. A free card is worth it. That lets you draw a card for two life. It's good. What? $5 common card. That's so silly. That's so, so many of my common cards are worth more than my rare cards. These dragon arts were super awesome. They all were really good looking. Blue Dragon, 289. They look so good. He's just in there because he looks good. <laughs> and I do want to make a Demir Dragon deck with the one Planeswalker girl at some point. I don't have her though, so we'll see at some point. Yeah, so many things. Like, that cryptologist is just in there because it's a wizard that does wizard things. <laughs> 80. True polymorph. Target artifact or creature becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature. I love clones. <laughs> Especially clones that let me become anything. Oh, sneaky guy. What are you doing? I do like dungeons. This is another thing I have to keep track of, though. So, and I avoid doing that with like plane chase and stuff because uh, I can't. I can't handle both of those things. <laughs> got too many other things going on. What do we got going on? Our old hydroblast. Another merchant scroll. That's right. Now I got merchant scroll money. That's right. People, do you need a merchant scroll? I will trade you a merchant scroll for a tropical island. It's Thanos! Thanos? How are you? What's up? Media? You're so big. Oh my god, he's such a big cat. He still has about a year of growing to do, which really scares me. <laughs> Him and his sister, the Bumbles. This Avison looks like she ate a basketball. <laughs> And they don't eat all the time. She's just lazy, I think. <laughs> she just doesn't want to get up. Uh, I don't know how often. And then she runs away from me, like, during the day. But then in the evening, I can't get rid of her. 
She just, like, follows me everywhere. It's, like, brushing up into me and swerving in between my legs. But, like, during the day, she'll see me, and she, like, looks, and she's, like, ah, and runs the other way. I'm, like, and then I'll be going that direction, so she thinks I'm chasing her. I'm, like, I'm just going this way, but I'm not chasing you. <laughs> Whenever a creature you control attacks, it phases out at the end of combat. <laughs> so silly. Uh, the one thing is, you can make an attack board wipe afterwards, which is kind of funny. I love phasing things out to board wipe. Like, I'm like my things are gone, but I'm gonna blow your shit up. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, Mohammed, oh, Mohammed Jijin. That's a classic from back in the day. I used to have these in blue decks. <laughs> that was a flying five, six for six. Back in the day, that was a good rare card. <laughs> now they're like, how many different things can we make this card do? All of the things? Okay. <laughs> Still a 50 cent card, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Taxi to probe. The only bad thing is I don't use like probe during like streams because can't look. It's just a pain to look at people's decks, and most of the time I've already looked. I mean, I don't want to look at your hand because then everybody has got to look at your hand. So I'm just casting a card and giving everybody information. <laughs> Abduction. When it comes into play, untap enchanted creature, gain control of it. If enchanted creature is put into any graveyard, put it back into its owner's control. You like stealing stuff, and stealing stuff for four mana is not bad. I mean, they get it back, but most likely I'm gonna sack it or get it killed or <laughs> exile it. <laughs> blighted agents. I feel like there's more blighted agents. Uh, yep, see, there's a bunch of blighted agents behind here. Like I feel like I have a place that have blighted agents. <laughs> Imagine that. I do. <laughs> I didn't use this for anything back in the day. Oop. Oh my god, how many bladed agents do I have? <laughs> Nine bladed agents? That's hilarious. Uh, see, Ben, this is why I have too many cards. I don't need nine bladed agents. <laughs> Especially since Commander is mostly what I play. <laughs> Three viral drakes. I imagine I have a play set of viral drakes too, because I know I had them in a standard deck at one point. <laughs> uh, what's the scars? No oh, trinket mage. Trinket mage used to be pretty good. It's still good. I mean, you're gonna go find your soul ring <laughs> or your mox. <laughs> Frogify. Uh, oh, this is. I do like turning things into frogs, and now I got a bunch of new frogs. So now I gotta have removal that turns things into frogs with frogs. <laughs> um, no more. Maybe? Maybe I should. Boop. Boop. Visions, but this was the list version of the visions. Okay, let's see here. Multiple choice. <laughs> if X is one, scry one. And if X is two, you may choose a player and they return a creature to their hand. If X is three, you get a token and it's a four, four elemental. And f four, and you do all of the above. <laughs> it's weird that if it's four or more, like, why would you pay more? It's interesting. Yeah, I love it when I find something I'm like, what was I planning here? I have these cards. Why? <laughs> Obviously I put them here for some reason. <laughs> it's usually nighttime, Riley, if I've, if I've smoked or I'm sleeping, and then I'm like, ooh, this is a good idea, and then I wake up in the morning and I was like, what was I doing? What did I build here? <laughs> This one time I had this deck that I was just like, it made no sense what I built. Like, nothing went together. I was like, 
This is interesting and stupid. <laughs> Blast you past, Riley. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Always screwing over future Amara. <laughs> Uh, Kamina's Awakening, 42. Ah, it's another 69 cent one. Hey Randy, what's going on? I'm just interning cards so I can I get it done. I feel like I it forces me to get it done if I'm streaming it. <laughs> just looking at all the dumb cards I have accumulated in my life. <laughs> Are there any more serum visions in here before I... Oh, I forgot if you make thopters. I want to make a Leonardo to <laughs> you say DiCaprio deck. Leonardo DiCaprio deck. Yes, I want to make a Leonardo da, da Vinci deck. <laughs> it's Sunday. I don't know what's happening. I've smoked. I, everything is just... Everything is everything. Let's sit here. Boop. I think this was just all blue cards that were in this box. The one thing is there's another box and it has a bunch of blue cards in it too. Soul Blade Dijin. He's basically like prowess, but for everybody. Which is actually kind of cool. I might actually put him in uh, Narset. Because... <laughs> uh, freaking... Uh, Dragon style twins yesterday or the other day with twin. <laughs> uh, Faye, they goaded it, so I had to attack with my dragon style twins, and I did like 22 damage with double strike. <laughs> oh, that's freaking stupid. They're really uh, good. I don't know. Nobody ever uses them. They have prowess. They're double strike. They cost five. They're a three three. But they're not going to be a 3 3 when you attack with them, especially with, like Nurse said, who's giving them prowess again. So they're getting double prowess. <laughs> this Inspired Sphinx makes Thopters. So I think Leonardo da Vinci is uh, <sighs> blue. I was looking for the word blue, I couldn't find it. It was somewhere in my brain. <laughs> Roll of Invention. Uh, nope, this is not the list version. Roll of Invention. When did you get so expensive? So weird, the cards that I found. I'm like, this is worth money now? Cool. <laughs> uh, Biomancer 32. What else do we got going? Yeah, I got a ski EDH game today, which I, uh, I'm trying something new that is not, I made it myself, so we'll see what happens. I don't know, Devious Grixis Riley is pretty gross when she makes decks. <laughs> like, I make fun decks that I want to play, but I can also make decks that are oppressive monstrosities. <laughs> I don't know, I see a card, and I can usually be like, oh, this is cool, you can do this, do this. I gotta go finish it up, though. It's a Thalia and the Get Rock Monster. <laughs> it is a staxy monstrosity <laughs> that basically just doesn't let anybody else play their decks. Which is, yeah. Well, I just do my thing. Oh, Herald of the Secret Streams, you are awesome. And apparently you're worth like seven bucks now. That's pretty awesome. I have so many copies of you. <laughs> I just it was one of those cards where you, you just keep getting it in a pack, and you're like, oh, why do I keep getting this rare card? Every set I've had cards like that where I just keep getting the same goddamn card over and over again. I really like River Sneak. Oh, this must have been a deck at some point. <laughs> It's always funny, I can usually tell when I took apart a deck and I'm like, oh, okay. One, two, and three. This must have been my Ixel on Merfolk deck at the time. Oh! 
Ops, a good card. What? I just want to see all the ops, please. Ops? No, it won't even let me go. Ugh, I don't want to go to the advanced thing. Let's just go do that. This one. Uh, ops. Excellent. Can I write the code after it? We'll do it. No. <laughs> now we'll go in here and change it. Okay. I want to not have the right copy. <laughs> oh yeah, this is definitely was my deck. These were just good cards that I was like, you know, opt I'll use for things. Merfolk that can't be blocked, I'll use it for something. <laughs> change of course is really good. I mean, most likely you're drawing two cards for two, which is not bad. Eh, followed. Followed footsteps. The beginning of your upkeep, put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of Enchanted Creature on the battlefield. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. You could put this on somebody else's creature. Somebody plays like an Ulamog or something, and then just, yeah, at the beginning of your upkeep, just keep making... Ulamog? Well, I guess put it on something that's not Ulamog, because otherwise I'll only get one. But if you put it on something that you could get multiple copies, and if you could get multiple upkeep somehow. Oh man, that would go really far into Obeka. God damn it. Okay. I'm a dick. <laughs> I don't care. Sometimes I just like to do fun things. At least they're fun for me. Whenever I say this is gonna be fun, it's usually just fun for me. <laughs> Whenever an opponent shuffles his or her library, you may look at the top two cards of that library and may exile one of those cards. That's actually pretty cool because that can stop a lot of like stupid tutors that put things on top of people's decks. Oh, people with fetches. This was this is the original monastery siege. Boop. Huh. Spells your opponent's gas. Hmm. That's interesting. Monastery siege is second part. Making everything I love stacking things. Master of the wind. Probably should go eat before I actually. I keep adding the to things. This is not how you spell that either. <laughs> I just I, I just call cards what I want to call them. Master of the Winds. Conditions of duplicity. I think my Amazon package that Heather had ordered is here. I think I'll get that off the porch. <laughs> Visions of duplicity. Heather always has packages. <laughs> That's right, Sherman sure, McMurray. You and your damn packages all the time. It's like, I have a package on the porch. Can you go pick it up? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Want me to go outside? Ugh. Tales of the Ancestors. Each player with fewer cards in hand than the player with the most cards draws cards equal to the difference. And it has foretell. If it was an instant, ugh. I'd wait until one of my friends draws like a billion cards and be like, well, I'm going to draw just as many cards as you because I want to. Another Viral Drake. Viral Drake. Flying Infector that proliferates is pretty good, I hear. It's <laughs> not bad. Now what other stacks of things do we have up there? Do we have to do another stack? We won't do as many. We'll finish one more stack. Then, then we'll go do what we're supposed to be doing. 
<laughs> we'll go do actual things we need to do. Oh man, Chrome Horse Seed Shark. One of my favorite cards. So stupid. Uh, I don't know. I think it's better than Shark Typhoon because I get a body off of it that's a 2 4 that flies automatically. I need more sharks, damn it. So much fun. And you incubate to your uh, non creature spells. And I like incubate because I can just wipe out the board and then I still have creatures. Rivers Rebuke. I don't want to return everything. Well, other people's stuff I don't mind returning. It's my stuff that I don't want to ret return to me. You just let me keep my stuff, please. White Crack. Uh, Workite Marauder is really good. I'll probably put them in my uh, new I guess, pirate deck there if I ever end up getting the commander for it. I didn't get any of the pirate stuff that I wanted from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> like, give me my pirate stuff, goddammit. That's what I wanted. <laughs> That's right, Pax. Give me the things I want. I don't want to buy singles. <laughs> I need that dopamine blast, goddammit. And every once in a while you get something cool or stuff that you didn't realize was in the set. I have no idea what the hell is in Outlaws. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's, with those extra loot cards. I don't know when they showed them, but I, why do I have a, there's a Cyclonic roof just hanging out in here, apparently. I definitely don't use Cyclonic Rift for anything. Is this a foil Cyclonic Rift? Okay. Like, uh... Cyclonic Rift. Stupid magic card. It's a $40 card still. Ugh. I might actually just put that aside to sell. I, I don't use it for anything. That's a somebody else card. <laughs> I do have it in our set, though. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, Astasia. I know you're not foil. Where are you? I hate these sheets. They're so foily. I think they were from one of my other... One of my 60-card decks. But they're really hard to see what you're looking at. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> 71. Oh my god, she's... $30 now, she's so good. <laughs> or $20. Apparently I can't read things, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm cooking tonight. I think I'm cooking fish. I don't know. I gotta go marinate it, though. Always marinate your meat. Flavor. I like to make my own marinades. I am a fan of. I love. I love cooking. I don't enjoy the cooking part. I enjoy the eating part afterwards of the food that I've cooked. <laughs> like I don't sit there and I'm like, "Ooh, this is fun clean, or, or cooking." Not to mention, I, I could never work in a restaurant because I would just want to eat the food and I'd be like, and then I would probably be like, oh, I don't want to eat anything. I've been cooking food all day for other people. <laughs> I'm just not going to eat myself. <laughs> not that reverse review. See, this is why everything needed to be put in order. <laughs> too many copies of things. That actually needs to go in my freaking soldier deck. Uh, full art. So weird to me, like the full art ones are not worth anything, and there's not a zillion copies of them out there. They just look so much better. I like to see the art. Oh, well, see, there's two of them. Ah, glad I saw that, so I didn't have to go back and do it again. Stitcher, Stitcher Gerald. This one was 
from Commander 2014. Yep. He's pretty fun. He's a let you mill, you get to make zombies. He's in my zombie deck. I've never actually made a deck of him, though. I did. I feel like I did make a chair off in Gisa deck, though. They should have a partner, even though they hate each other so much. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna go in my frog deck. So I can make more frogs. Me and my wanting to make frogs. I just want to make frogs, people. Let me make frogs. Sublime Epiphany. I love any mold module cards that let me actually... Modal cards. That let me pick multiple things. And this one lets you counter spell. Counter activate your ability or triggered ability. Return target only land permanent to its owner's hand. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, and target player draws a card. And for six mana, you can do all of them. <laughs> Just in case. And most likely, you'll need to do one of those things at some point during the game. <laughs> Whether it's six mana to draw a card. Foil etched. Oh, Tetsu. What you saw? Tetsu. My mouth is not working. You failed. You have failed me, mouth. Foil lynch. Inga. Really nice. That's your foil, too. Uh, number 10. Hey, what's going on, Thanos? You're so silly, baby. You're such a cutie. Uh, this is the special multiversal legend. No. Oh. Oh, she must have been. Okay. I was like, what is this from? <laughs> that was a foil. I forgot to click it. Herb. Oh, my hand. Some of these foils that are the weird shiny halo foils that I need to actually pay attention to. Azotep. It's just in here because it's really good. <laughs> Don't see it very often. I mean, in a mass deck, it's zombies. All your permanents gain hexproof is pretty useful sometimes. Especially if you're being a problem. It has its uses. Okay. Yeah, he's just there because he's a lord that lets me amass and that might gives me zombie tokens flying, which is really good. Oh, this is a Warhammer card. Well, it was a it's original version. <laughs> 193. 193. Oop. Oh, squad. I love you so much. I gotta actually find a play. Oh, they're warriors. Oh, I could use them for something. Oh, Strogies. I love Warhammer. I want more Warhammer cards. Seeing Warhammer art. That's magic art. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> uh, let's see here. 27. Nah. And our suppressor. I have a whole bunch of suppressors I need to paint, but they're, none of them are on their stands. So I was like, yeah, maybe it'll be easier to paint them not on their stands. But now I'm like, yeah. not another Tarlin. Ah, tolerant. Hate you. There's too many of you. 97. Demi Lynch. The Skeleton Wizard. <laughs> Oops. Uh, just keep forgetting word letters. 
I think I would know how to spell all these fake words, goddammit. I'll say, Demi Lich, you've only been printed once or twice. <laughs> Echo Mage, uh, Trolling, Clever Impersonator. I do really like Clever Impersonator. 82. Do you like making copies of people's stuff? It's a copy of any non land permanent. <laughs> That's how clever they are. Yeah, I was going to say. Sometimes I'm like, why is this card not worth more money? And then sometimes I'm like, yeah, this card looks really good. <laughs> Insidious Will. Insidious Will. Let's see here, it was Kaladesh. Make sure I don't have more of them in here. I feel like there are more of them. Just don't know where they are. They might just be in this stack. They might be in a different stack. <laughs> oh, what a bunch of weird stuff in here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another I have so many fluster storms. Uh, I have a play set of them that I used to use, and then I have multiple copies from the last uh, promo that came out for Modern Horizons. Like, they were just like, hey, here's a, here's a stack of fluster storms. I'm like, no more fluster storms. I don't need them in my life. Uh, so many fluster storms. Lunar <laughs> Mystic. Yeah. <laughs> Acquire. Search your tone of your opponent's library for an artifact and put it on the battlefield under your control. It's just like bribery, but for <laughs> but for artifacts. Like if I have somebody's mox field, like when we're streaming, I don't mind using stealing stuff because I can actually just go and be like, hey, I want this. Otherwise, that's just a pain in the butt. Patron wizard. Cyclone Summoner. Uh, 3.43 Extended Art. Extended Art just looks so much better. <laughs> Redirect. <laughs> Redirect is fun. So it's a flighting swap, basically. There it is fun too. <laughs> uh, upheaval. If you ever play upheaval, I will just walk away. <laughs> I'm just out. <laughs> uh, so stupid. I don't like anything that is. I guess if it's early on in the game, it's not bad, but otherwise, ugh, don't do that. Don't be that person. <laughs> Borderless, foil, uh, gifts ungiven. Uh, keep printing gifts ungiven, a card that I cannot use and will not use. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, how many copies do I need? All of them, apparently. more than some rares. Multiple choice. Oh, Alkaline Trio. I've been listening to a lot of emo music. 
from my childhood. Foil. Cosmo Charger. Cosmos Charger. It's a horsey. I have not made a horse deck, but there are a lot of good horses out there now. Before I was going to combine them with unicorns, but I'm going to do that now. Now that there's actually some good ones. Oops, foil etched. No, it's not foil etched. Charlatan. I got so many copies of Baldur's Gate stuff because I've bought so much. Uh, I could not figure out why people didn't like the set. And then it's like, I'm not going to complain because you're making it not worth anything. So, sweet. Excellent. Unfortunately, magic is so popular now, everything is just expensive and it's terrible. <laughs> it's gonna be a long, long process. Well, it'll probably be a whole day process. But it will be nice to have more room when I move upstairs. Except for when I have to go upstairs to go stream and I'm like, Ugh, I wanna go I wanna go upstairs. <laughs> I don't ever go upstairs house is big enough downstairs that I'm just like, why would I go upstairs? <laughs> That's just my storage areas in our foster rooms. <laughs> and our other bedroom, and our guest bedroom. <laughs> uh, or I guess they're just cat, they're just cat rooms for the most part. And we have like a little library area that I need to actually fix. Oh, fail hide visitor. I just had all the legendary backgrounds and stuff over here too, so they were easier for me to find. A lot of times, common cards and stuff are, are harder for me to find than any rares and mythics are. I gotta go through these Pokemon cards over here. There's a lot of cards. Oh, God damn it. My bad, I'm just over here typing away. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> Direction 73. Okay, after we finish this stack, I'm gonna go find some food and go do what other things I need to do. Then I'll probably be back in a little bit. I don't know if I'll be doing this. Probably go finish up my deck for tonight. Oh, Tarlin, I hate you so much. I see another copy of you. I'm just gonna start ripping them in half. I'll make them worth money by destroying them all. <laughs> Buy all the tall runes. Tolerance. Buy all the tolerance, then I'll destroy them all, and then they'll be worth money. And then wizards will finally succeed it. I love Sinister Gonchirch. It's one of my favorite cards. <laughs> I love the art. I love the thing what it does. <laughs> it tells a story through the rules, which is always something I enjoy. Uh, list. What are we doing? 81? Oh, okay, this was the list. That one's worth more money than the other one. So weird. Pull from tomorrow. Something weird. For cognitive perception. 34. Okay, that was also in that weird box. And then the game night box set. Deluvian Primortal. <laughs> 
feel like a Diluvian Primordial would be a lot more powerful than this. I keep, I'm thinking Vampire of the Masquerade. <laughs> Primordial attack coming or an antediluvian. Ugh. Not good times. Uh, Nimble Trap Finder. The foil version. And another Charix. I'll actually put these in a place where I know that I've actually gone through them. <laughs> keep track of things. Oh, this was the one that came with bundle. One that came. It's a very simple HL Sensei. Sensei, 76. Foil. I am excited that I finally have. <laughs> went to the shop yesterday to see if they could fix my PlayStation controller. They weren't sure if this, they could fix it or not, so they just gave me another controller so until I could so I could still play. So I appreciate you, LGS, hard to do some game. You take care of me. I'm just gonna bring that back when they fix mine. I appreciate them. They take care of me. They get me all the things that I ask for. Okay, that is the last card we are going through right now. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm gonna go find some food. I'm gonna probably go play some Assassin's Creed. I'm excited to play this Mr. House deck. I'll be over on Dredge's playing some CEDH later on today at 8.30, I think? I'll repost it on Twitter. I'm assuming there's probably something on there now. <laughs> I'm always waiting for people to make banners so I can retweet them. Makes my life easier here if I can just retweet things. <laughs> uh, let us refresh this. My total so far of my trades, we have 4,774 cards I've entered into here. <laughs> uh, let us refresh the screen. There we go. I mean, it's only 10,000. $697 of cards so far that we've entered in for trades. Somebody trade me some, some dual lands. <laughs> I'll give you all my cards. <laughs> uh, okay, that is all I've got for now. I'm hungry. You can tell by my rambliness. Um, I'll see y'all later. You take care of yourselves. And uh, yeah, I'll be back later on this evening. Later, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Take care of yourselves and everybody.